really cool recipe and I just thought, well shoot, if I'm going to try this recipe, let's try it together, huh? So let me get you guys up here so I can see your comments and see what's happening. How are my people? What's happening, everyone? It is June. Can you believe that? It is June already. So here we are. You can comment there. If you're on Instagram, you need to comment on Facebook because I can't see you on Instagram in this setup. So anyway, we are going to be making today, my neighbor sent me this TikTok um, of this pizza meatloaf that looked so cool. I'm like, well, we have to try that. So that's what we're going to make today. We're going to make pizza meatloaf. And then with that, I'm going to serve it with a spinach salad that I'm going to show you. We're going to make a hot bacon dressing for that. Yum. Oh, and then we are going to make Hasselback potatoes to go with that. Cause I thought, you know, normally you have uh, mashed potatoes, right? With meatloaf, but not today. We're going to try something new and do these Hasselback potatoes. They are delicious. So I'm going to start right now with my dressing so we can get the onions cooking here in the sauteing. So I have cooked the bacon for the spinach salad already while I was waiting for you guys. So I've got a little bit of bacon grease left here in my cast iron sk uh, skillet. So I'm going to get that up to temperature again. I'm going to throw a few onions in there just to saute them. I'm not a lover of raw onion and I would use a red onion for this, but I don't have one. So I'm using just half of a white here. I'm going to throw that in there and let those start to saute. I'm also not a huge fan of raw mushrooms, so I'm going to put some of these mushrooms in and saute them a little bit in the bacon grease. Those are for the salad too, so let's saute a few of those while we're going here. So we'll let those get started while we dig into this meatloaf. So oh my gosh. Hey Susan, how are you? We're going to make this pizza meatloaf. It looks so cool. So in my bowl here, I have um, two pounds of beef, 93%, a pound of pork, ground pork, and a pound of turkey. Really, we throw the turkey in there just for calories. <laughs> Try to mi minimize the calories. Now, I never take my wedding ring off except for meatloaf. So, we're taking my ring off here for the meatloaf. And to my four pounds of meat here, I'm going to add about a half of a white onion, grated. Of course, I grated it. I like to grate things like that when... Um, you don't want big chunks, and plus it's just quick. I could dice it, but I just grate, uh, grated it. I was grating the cheese anyway, because as you know, we never use pre-grated anything. We grate our own. So that's going in there. Then I'm going to put three eggs in here for our binder, because you don't want to mix your meat and touch your meat too much, because it gets tough. So I want to put all my things in here before I start to mush it all around. So three eggs going in. I did pull these out of the fridge to let the meat warm up a little bit and to let the eggs warm up a little bit because they're just easier to incorporate that way. So yum, I hear my thing sizzling back here. Let me give that a little toss. Oh, yum. Because let's face it, you know, what's not yummy sauteing in bacon grease? That's <laughs> what I was thinking anyway. So, to my meatloaf here, I'm going to add some spices. So let's add, I got out some, I'm going to do some oregano. Because we're in the pizza theme here, I thought I'd add a little bit of oregano into our meat. And so let me get it going here. So, you know, about a teaspoon or so. Just put it in the palm of my hand, break it up a little bit. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It already smells like pizza. And I'm going to use some crazy salt just because it has some more things in it. So I'm going to shake a little, probably a good teaspoon, maybe two, of some salt. We're going to be putting cheese and other things in this, pepperoni and sausage. So I'm going to get too crazy on the salt. And then, of course, you guys know I love this Lowry seasoned pepper. So I'm going to put a generous shake of that in here, probably a tablespoon of that. I'm going to grind a little bit of pepper in, too. So let's use the grinder here, just because... This family loves black pepper, so we're going to put a little bit in here. Hey, Sandy, how are you? I know, we're so excited. So let's see, get this going. Okay, so now I'm going to get to it with my hands here. But first, before I get my hands all dirty, let's give this another toss. Oh my gosh, yum! Smells 
mushrooms and the onions over here sauteing. Those are for our spinach salad. Okay, now we're going in. So, here we go. Our onions, beef, pork, and turkey. And it's going to be in our meatloaf here. Now you could put a binder if you wanted to. I am not using one. I don't usually use a, a, a binder. To me, it's just filler. Now in this recipe, on the TikTok, they did use some breadcrumbs, which, you know, when you're going to see what I'm going to do with this meatloaf, <laughs> I might need some breadcrumbs, but we'll see. This is our first outing with this recipe. And I've never made one from TikTok, but this is my first. I don't have TikTok, but plenty of people send me TikTok recipes. So this is the first one that looks cool enough to go for. Oh my gosh. So I'm just going to get this all mixed up, make sure all my meats are incorporated so no one gets a big mouthful of one kind here. Oh my gosh. Smells good. We got the oregano, salt and pepper, the crazy salt. Oh, oh. What's one thing I forgot in here, my Italian pizza meatloaf here? A little bit of fresh garlic. I'm going to put about, oh, about a teaspoon of fresh garlic in, just because it's a lot of meat here. And I want it to taste good once we get it all incorporated. So this is the fun part. Okay, we gotta, we are going to take our meatloaf here, and we are going to spread it in this Oh my gosh, this looks good, smells good, yummy. There we go, our meatloaf. I have a cookie sheet here, all prepared. And I'm gonna take my meat mixture and we are gonna put it in the sheet pan. We're gonna spread it out. So, let me get this all evenly distributed. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. So good. Yummy, huh? Get my cookie sheet all filled up here. Yes, sirree. What's your favorite kind of meatloaf? Do you love meatloaf like I do? One of the reasons this recipe appeals to me is because I love meatloaf. They used to have delicious meatloaf on the menu at BJ's and they took it off the menu. A lot of places don't have it anymore and it makes sad because, I mean, I love it. Love, love, love it. Okay. I can try to make it even here up under my fingers so you can see what we're going to do with this. We're going to make pizza! Okay. Oh my gosh. Yum! Hey, Cindy, how are you? Oh my gosh, Cindy, we need to talk. How is Florida today? Okay, I'm going to wash my hands and we're going to move on to our next step here of our pizza making here. You're not going to believe this. Oh my gosh. I couldn't believe it is why we're here making it. <laughs> so I'm giving you a new recipe for your next family outing. So let me wash my hands real quick. Okay. Okay, got the meatloaf off my hands. Let me shake my, uh, I know, a meatloaf sandwich is the best. Better than a hamburger, I think, because you have all the spices in your meatloaf to make it yummy. Okay, this is coming along. I'll show you guys. We're sauteing the onion and the mushroom for the spinach salad, mostly because I just don't like raw mushrooms so much. Or onion. So I thought, well, let's just saute it a little bit. So that's what we're doing there for the spinach salad I'm going to serve with this. Okay, now to the fun part. Okay, I have some pizza sauce here. So I am going to start with the pizza sauce and we are going to make a layer of that. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I just bought some, you know, pizza sauce made and it smells delicious. Smells like pizza already. Yummy. Okay, oh my gosh. Yum. How yummy does this look already? Yes siree. Try and get that even. Okay. Yum. Okay, now you get all the pieces, all the nooks and crannies here because you'll see why in a minute when we roll it up. I know, how cool is that? We're going to make a pizza roll up here. Okay, so there's our pizza sauce. 
I'm gonna um, save a little bit here to put on top when we, before we put it in the oven. Oh my gosh. So then we're gonna go on to our cheese. And I've got mozzarella cheese that I just grated myself, you know, of course, because um, we don't buy pre-grated cheese because they put that coating on it and it's gross. It doesn't melt, it tastes chalky, just gross. So we grate our own, which I did. While I was waiting for you guys to make, I guess if I was going to make this a TikTok, it'd have to be over already. <laughs> oh, so get the cheese on here. Oh man, it smells so yummy. And then you can see here, I have pepperoni and sausage I'm going to put on this. And get this evened out a little bit. Because you want every bite to have all the yumminess. And you'll see why when I get this thing rolled up. Okay. We are going to cross our fingers on the roll up part since I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> but I think we can do it, don't you, team? Okay, so there's the cheese. And now we're going to do some pepperoni. Now, I'm not a pepperoni lover, so I'm going to do half pepperoni. And uh, we're going to go this way, because when we roll it, we're going to want the pepperoni on one side and the sausage on the other. So we're doing a half and half here. So get the pepperoni on. Now, my son, my husband, they like pepperoni. So here we go. Oh my gosh, this smells good, though. The pepperoni is just not my fave. What's your, fa your, fa your favorite pizza topping? Of course, I think this would be good too. I was thinking maybe we'd do half of this in um, ham and pineapple. I love ham and pineapple and jalapeno is one of my favorites. So that was an option. But I decided to stick with the all meat routine here. So now I have sausage, it's already cooked. And so I've got nice big chunks of sausage here for pizza sausage. So you know what you're biting into. Okay, so there's our sausage side, our pepperoni side. Oh my gosh, you guys, are you kidding me? Yummy. And then, just because I know my audience around here, I have jalapeno that I have sliced with a towel under my arm here. And so we, uh, oh, black olives, green peppers, right here. So instead of green peppers, because again, I don't like them, I am using fresh jalapeno. So I'm gonna put those all around. And I chose to make them bigger um, I sliced them in big pieces that so if people don't like jalapeno, they can pick it out. So that's why I made them big. But I could have diced them and put them all throughout. But I thought, hmm, if anyone doesn't like it, then I should make the pieces larger so they can pick them out. But it'll give a really nice flavor. And then I did some um, mushrooms. So we're going to put a few mushrooms in here. And you could do whatever you like. Like Cindy said, black olives, red onion. Okay, so now we've got, I'm gonna put a little bit of Parmesan. Again, freshly grated, I just grated it. Just for flavor in here. And I mean, you guys, seriously, how yummy does this look already? But then look what we're gonna do to this thing. Oh my gosh, oh, fresh basil, yummy too. We are gonna make a loaf. Don't let your meat loaf. So we are going to roll this thing. Okay, drum roll please. Let's see if it's as easy as it is on TikTok and see if this will load. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have gone all the way to the edge. Well, let's see here. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness, you guys. Seriously, how yummy is this going to be? OMG, OMG. So there we go. Get this thing. It's huge. <laughs> Talk one. So let's see. I think I need another cookie sheet to get it onto. Hold on, let me see if I can turn it. I don't know. I might need my magic hands here to help me move this thing. Try to close up the end and then get it. I don't know if I can. <laughs> I'm gonna get it on another sheet. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to do, do that when we're done. But you see, that we made this beautiful loaf that is filled with yumminess that everyone is gonna be surprised that there's so much yumminess inside of this. So I will 
takes the rest of the pizza sauce, and I'm going to cover the top with the pizza sauce, and then um, I'm going to cook it. Now you could cook this in your Traeger for at 375 for an hour if you have one. We don't have one, so I'm going to cook it in the oven. And uh, for about an hour, now I will use a meat thermometer on this and see, make sure we get to 165, I think is meatloaf for memory. And then the last 20 minutes or so, I will come and put um, a few more pepperonis on top and a little bit of cheese on top, just for garnish, just for pretty. And then we will have our beautiful pizza meatloaf. How cool is that? Has anyone ever made a meatloaf like that before? OMG, I cannot wait. So again, it's Saturday night card night, so the card friends will be getting to taste this tonight. So with that, let me wash my hands again. Oh look, we've lost some magic here. Stick it back in. Um, let me wash my hands real quick, and I'm gonna show you the potatoes we're gonna do. Okay. Get back on here. And I'm gonna make Hasselback potatoes, and if you've never um, made them, a Traeger is that fancy smoker barbecue thing called a Traeger, and um, people seem to have them, I don't. This recipe was actually from a TikTok for a Traeger, um, but I don't have one, so we're just gonna do it in the, uh, at the oven. So if you've never made um, Hasselback potatoes, which I never had, if you can believe it, till last year on the show, um, you take two wooden spoons, of course mine don't match, it would be easier if you had them the same width, but I don't, so no problem. Just put two wooden spoons down, whatever you've got, and then you slice the potato down to the wooden spoon so that you're not going all the way through. And I'm slicing fairly close, probably less than a quarter inch, because I like them, oh whoops, you should watch when you're do, doing this, because I like them really crispy, and so when you cook these, they get all, you know, crispy and crunchy on the outside. So to this, I'll show you guys if you can see, but they're just little cuts in the potato. And then when you cook it, they spread out a, a little bit, but it saves you from going through the bottom. And these are Yukon Golds, my favorite. Always use Yukon Golds. So I've got Yukon Golds. Now I'm going to take these when I'm ready to cook them. I will do them all before, of course, I do this for everyone. And then I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil um, salt and pepper, maybe a little bit of garlic, and cook them in the oven with the meatloaf for, you know, probably 45 minutes to an hour until they're soft and crunchy, and you pull them out and you have your potatoes ready to go. So that's the potatoes. Now the spinach salad, I'll finish this dressing here that we will do, and then, oh yeah, Erin says she has the big green egg, so you could cook, you could cook, you could cook it in that too. So to my, um, I'm going to pull these things out of the pan here real quick. Let's put them in here. I have my sautéed onion and sautéed mushroom, mostly because I just don't like it raw. And then to this pan, we're going to make our hot dressing. So I'm going to take a little more, because I used my bacon grease to sauté those, those turned out, mushroom and onion. I'm going to put a little bit more bacon grease in here to make our hot bacon dressing. So let me get a little bit more. Got my little onion in here. I love cast iron. Isn't it great? So to this, of course I have the pan I cooked the bacon in. We're going to put, oh, about three tablespoons or so of bacon grease back in the pan. And to that, I'm going to add probably, you know, a couple tablespoons of red wine vinegar. So I'm going to put some red wine vinegar in there. And I'm going to put some uh, grape coupon and some salt and pepper. And we are going to have ourselves a hot bacon yummy dressing here. Yeah, killer, huh? And then I will put a little pepper. Where's my fresh pepper? Right here. Pepper. And I will put more black pepper on the salad before I toss it, but I wasn't going to toss it yet, so a little bit of salt, and then I will stir together our Dijon bacon grease and red wine vinegar. Oh my gosh, yeah. And you can see that the, that the, um, I don't know if you can see it here in the screen. Can you see it? 
the Dijon mustard uh, emulsifies the dressing a little bit to make it a little bit creamy. Now I'd also probably put a squirt of lemon on this when I go to dress the salad, um, but it's going to be delish. So the spinach salad, I bought the big container of the organic spinach, and then to it, of course I cooked some bacon. We've got bacon, I've got hard boiled eggs, of course the yummy, the best, these sweet and spicy pecans from Trader Joe's, they're candied. And I'm going to put avocado for make it creamy. And then I have strawberries because we have the most gorgeous. I just bought these organic strawberries living here in Ventura County. We have the most delicious strawberries right outside our back door. So I have strawberries. And then I thought maybe I might just put some oranges in too, some mandarin oranges. So that is going to be our spinach salad with the hot bacon dressing to go with our Hasselback potatoes and our pizza meatloaf roll up. So how yummy is that going to be? Who wants to come over for dinner? <laughs> Because that is what we are having around here tonight. So we love doing the shows. It's been a while. Miss seeing you guys. And we are um, doing great. Hope you're doing great. It is summertime. And the living is easy, right? So hope you guys are well. You know the real estate market is crazy and on fire. If you know anybody who's thinking about selling a property, please call us. Uh, we are looking for inventory for all our, bu our buyers. It's crazy out there. So you know you can always find us at GaryAndLisa.com um, or just text us, call us, homing uh, pigeon. We will respond to any of the above. So anyway, great to see you guys. Happy Saturday, and we will see you next time here on Recipe of the Day. Thanks for being here.